Hey guys. <coughs> Scam. No. I'm sorry about that. My dog thinks that somebody is here apparently. But it's just me. Um, Scam, stop growling. No. Okay, hang on one second. I have my camera so far away. Um, so I'm trying to pull up my video here on my iPad so that I can see if anybody hops on and if I get any comments. So I'm gonna show you guys today how I change up my table from like the spring summer decor to my fall decor. What is going on here? So bear with me for just one moment. And if you hop on, if you could say hi, let me know that you're watching. I'm trying to pull up any comments. Okay, turn the volume off. All right, so it shows that I have a few people on here. So I'm gonna set my comments to the side. Hey, Danielle. All right, so this is let me get a little closer here, maybe. I don't know, this is kind of hard to film this because I have a very big square table. So this is what I usually have staged on my table year, not year round, sorry, for um, spring and summer. So I like the sea foam colors. I have some eucalyptus, some dried eucalyptus. Um, I have some just silk flowers in a vase. And then I have my little mason jar salt and pepper shakers. Hey Marie, thank you for hopping on. Uh, so that is what I have for spring and summer. These chargers, you can get them at Hobby Lobby. You can get some at Michael's even. And then I just have a big plate, a smaller plate. And then I picked up both of these on clearance. So I have my little um, cloth napkin here. And then I picked up these really cute, they're very heavy metal like napkin holders and so we don't ever use these but it's more for de decoration i like to have my table super pretty we really don't eat at it a whole lot except for holidays so i'm going to go ahead and start taking this apart so i can show you guys a few quick things of what i do to switch it up move these out of the way There we go. I hope it doesn't keep trying to focus further back. Like I said, I have to have my camera pretty far away for this. So I have some extra fabric from these chairs that I reupholstered. So I basically just folded the edges in. So then I have this long skinny piece that can be draped across my table. And this table does have a leaf um, with it as well, so you can extend it out even further. But it does have that big um, split in the middle. So I just like to run my table this way and then have the uh, fabric going across it to help hide that. Okay, so I have my fabric down. I'm going to remove my spring summer decor. I'm going to place that back because I'm still going to have that. It's just a wood round and then my little mason jar salt and pepper shakers that I made. So I'll place that back on there. And then this is a milk glass that I got at the Dollar Tree and uh, I just painted it with white chalk paint. So I'm going to remove that. And then I have this that I'm gonna be replacing it with. So again, it's not another one of those Dollar Tree milk glasses and I just lightly distressed it. And then I put some jute around the top 
to give it more of a fall look. I have my Dollar Tree um, sunflowers in here or daisies, whatever you call those. And then I got some of these um, multicolored dried like grass stems or wheat or whatever. Um, I got those at, I believe, Hobby Lobby. I think Michael's may sell them as well. So I'm gonna go ahead, place that on here. So that's gonna be my centerpiece. And then I'm gonna stage around it. So I'm gonna take my, oh, throw that back up there, my painted pumpkins little stick stems and I'm going to put one on each side and for these I am instead of using the white since I already have some white and cream colored in there I'm going to stick with the bigger pumpkins in the blue or the vintage duck egg and then the sea glass color so I'm going to position those on here and then let's see here I have Sorry that I have to keep going off camera, you guys. I have these three little pumpkins that were Dollar Tree pumpkins as well, and I painted those up and then or, um, waxed in the all the divots on the pumpkin to make it stand out and look all aged. So I'm going to position these in here as well. something like that. So it doesn't have to be completely perfect. And then next I am taking some of these quilted ball mason jars. They're the eight ounce ones and I have a little mini wood round and then I just put a tea light candle in it. And so that's a very like rustic um, kind of cottagey decor that I like to use. So I'm going to position one of these on each side. And I like to set them on the wood rounds, not only because it adds like another texture, it uh, raises it up a little bit, but I don't want that tea light getting too hot when I light them. And so if it's on a wood round, at least it protects it against the fabric. And then... I am taking my Dollar Tree leaves that I painted up. And if you are new on here um, and you haven't seen this yet, I did do a video of how I got all these leaves, what colors I used, and I even waxed them. But I have um, four different colors that I did. So I'm gonna sprinkle those around my display here. And it doesn't really have to make sense. Take it some more. All right. So now I have them all laid out on here. Hey, Terry. Hey, Angela. Thank you guys for joining. Okay, so now I have where I need to set my plates. And so I am changing out, changing out my chargers with some of these, they're like a champagne gold and it's gonna reflect the light from outside so it's gonna be really hard to tell, but it's kind of like that. It looks very neutral, but when the light shines on it, it's gonna look more gold, but it is a very neutral, um, champagne gold color and so some of these leaves that I did in a champagne gold so it all ties in so I have those at each place then I'm going to take my big plate my small plate and then my napkin I'm going to place these on each placemat here. And I like to use 
white plates when I am decorating because it really goes along with any color that you want to decorate with. Alright, so that is my table setting for fall. So I have my little painted pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. I have my painted leaves from the Dollar Tree. I have my leftover fabric from my chairs that I reupholstered. And those, um, for the fabric, I got it at Hobby Lobby. It was super cheap. I have my chargers from Michaels, and those were, I wanna say it was like four for $10. Those are really affordable as well. Uh, my plates I already owned. I got both of these on clearance at Kroger's. And then the milk glass I got from the Dollar Tree and I painted it with a like a creamy white color. My salt and pepper shakers, which are just the ball mason jars that I painted and distressed. And then I did the salt and the pepper holes on the top. And then at the ends here, I have my candles. Those are on the mini wood rounds. And I have my quilted ball mason jars with little tea lights in those. So I like to have my um, table centerpiece like very stretched out across my table. I don't like it all clustered up in the middle. And it's a very, it's a good divide while still being able to see um, everybody at the table. If you want to actually sit down and eat, this is kind of just staged for the holiday. Um, but we probably will have some sort of a Thanksgiving um, meal over here. So one other thing that I want to show you guys, I found this at the Dollar Tree and it doesn't necessarily go with the decor that I wanted right here, right now, but I thought they were super cute and I'll probably use them somewhere else in my house, but they're, these are what, pint size um, mason jars and they have this like, oil rub bronze rim with a little um, piece inside that you put a tea light in. So I thought those would be super cute, um, displayed maybe on my coffee table even, and having a little tea light in there that I can light. Hey Cindy, hey Jamie, <laughs> thank you. Hey Lois. I... Oh, I guess I'm late. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, this was very random, um, but I've been uh, out trying to find furniture all day and I kind of striked out. So I had to come on and just show you guys a little bit of something because I feel like I haven't been as active on my page the past couple days. Um, so I wanted to just show you guys how you can re-make over your table for a different holiday in, um, what was that, like 10, 15 minutes? And most of these things I got at the Dollar Tree and everything else was either clearance or it was under $10. So if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to send me a message or comment on this if you're watching the replay and I would love to answer your questions. Um, share this if you like this and you think that somebody else um, would like to decorate their table, something like this. Hey Sandy, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here because I have to make dinner. My husband's gonna be home soon, but thank you guys for joining me.